and welcome to your wonderful, fabulous life. Now in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you what to do when big dreams are confronted with big opposition and you end up struggling with feeling unqualified. Some good stuff, so stay tuned. We are closer, closer than before. Welcome to your wonderful, fabulous life. My name is Rhonda Cropper, and it is a beautiful day to be with you again. Now, if you're like me, you've experienced just wanting to step out and really just see the things that God has placed on your heart come to pass. See those dreams finally come to pass. But it's just a fact of life that whenever we step out to do more, thoughts of opposition tend to come to kind of keep us in that place of inactivity. And one way that these thoughts come is what I call in feelings of being unqualified. And you know, those feelings of being unqualified can kind of bombard you with thinking that you don't have the temperament, you don't that have the experience, you don't have the achievements that seem to be fitting for someone who would walk in those things that are in your heart to do. So today, you and I are going to kick Fear. We're going to kick doubt in its face and we're going to walk in God's purpose for our life. And I'm going to share with you three things today that you want to be mindful of and you want to kind of meditate on, you want to bring into your thinking, you want to act on to help you to now walk free from feeling unqualified. So here we go. So the first thing we need to do when we're struggling with feeling unqualified is to do this. And this might come as a shock to you, but we need to recognize that God is an expert at using unqualified people. Many of the people that he's used in the Bible to do extraordinary things were people who you and I would probably not pick to fill the shoes that they were walking in. I mean, just think about God sitting and going over resumes to decide who was going to be the ancestor through which Jesus Christ would come into the earth. Just think about him sitting there and pulling out Sarah's resume. So, okay, let's look at this. Sarah, um, okay, she's old. <laughs> she's like going on 90 years old. Um, she's barren. So on top of the fact that she's old, she's never had a child, she can't have children there's something physically wrong with her in the sense of being able to have a child she's bossy so she is someone who kind of has been coming up with this scheme to have her husband have a child with somebody else and then claim that child is her own and then on top of that she blames me God for her situation the fact that she hasn't had a child in all these years Ding, 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 ding. I'm gonna choose Sarah. Yeah, she's my person. See, we finally need to come to the realization that just like God says in 1 Samuel 16, 7, he doesn't see things the way that we see them. He judges and chooses people for different assignments and callings, not necessarily based on their history or based on what they may have done right or based on what they may have done wrong. He's got a whole different plane of thinking when it comes to that. And we just want to say, yes, Lord, use me. I am setting myself up to be sent and do whatever you want me to do. The second thing we need to do when we are struggling with feeling unqualified is we need to step up to the plate to commit once and for all to lead that one person who is the most important person we should lead as well as the most difficult person that we should lead and that person is ourselves and the reason why we need to commit to leading ourselves in a greater manner is because a lot of times we feel unqualified because we feel like well i don't really have success in this particular area over here where i've led a whole bunch of people or where i have a lot of people you know just following me we have to come to a, a, the place where we kind of back up and we say well it's not so much first how many people i've led but how well i've led myself So when we feel unqualified 
qualified by human standards, it's probably because we are. And when we come to that recognition and that realization, and we say with that, that means I need to place 100% of my trust, 100% of my reliance on the grace of God that is going to empower me to be able to fulfill this big dream. That's gonna empower me to be able to walk and step out and do this thing that seems impossible. When we come to that place, then we allow the power of God to come in and overshadow whatever it is that we feel has made us unqualified. You know, I wanna share this with you. Whenever God is on your side, your shortcomings are irrelevant. They have no excuse, they have no place in stopping us because God is so much bigger than every shortcoming. He's so much bigger than every fast past failure. He's so much bigger than anything that would try to stop us from accomplishing God's purpose for our lives. So what is your dream? What is that thing that's burning on the inside of you for you to step out and accomplish? What is it that the doubts and the feelings of being unqualified are trying to stop you from doing? I wanna encourage you today to step out, to kick fear, to kick doubt, to kick those feelings of being unqualified in the face so that you can accomplish God's plan for your life. I want you to join me because I'm stepping out. I'm, I'm getting out of the place of allowing that feeling to stop me. And I want to hold you by the hand and take you with me. We can do this together. I'm trusting that this has been of value to you. And if so, I want to ask you to please like, share, and comment. And I want to ask you to join me here once again next week as I'm going to just go further in encouraging you to be everything that God has ordained and designed you to be. We'd like to see you soon be blessed.